Hey everybody, so you packed your bags, drove to the airport and took the next plane to Germany. After arriving, you decide to go to a bar to do some socializing, but get repeatedly kicked out after ordering a Diet Coke. So you realize your mistake and order the only thing Germany is known for. Excuse me, uh, one world war please. Uh, the other thing. Ah, <laughs> one beer please. Now the good thing about ordering a beer in Germany is that you only have to be 16. So especially for you guys out there who live in countries where drinking alcohol under the age of 18 or even 21 is a big no-no, this is your time to shine. But since you don't want to sound like such a foreign loser, you decide to order your beer in German. So instead of one beer please, you want to say ein Bier bitte. Ein Bier, bitte. Now the waiter will probably ask you what kind of beer you want. And for you newbies out there, you can pick between three main beer categories slash options. The regular, freshly tapped beer, right from the barrel, which is always a great choice. The same kind of beer also gets served in or from a bottle a lot of times. But you should obviously aim for the tap beer. In terms of brands, you will mostly find stuff like Krombacher, Becks, Feltins, Jefer, Warsteiner, Bitburger, just to give you a few examples. Even though again, this varies from region to region. I personally enjoy Becks and Feltins the most, but you will have to find out on your own. Category number two would be the wheat beer, or how you call it in German, Hefeweizen or Weißbier. If you are not in Bavaria, there's a high chance you will only be able to get this from a bottle but it's still very good, I'd say a bit, a bit milder in taste. For your Hefeweizen, brands like Erdinger, Starnberger, König Ludwig, Franziskaner or Paulana are quite common. I don't usually drink Hefeweizen, so in this case you will just have to pick something on your own. Last, but sadly not least, there's the forbidden category. Basically everything you don't want to order when you are trying to make new friends. This includes stuff like Radler, which is a mixture of lemonade and beer, and also non-alcoholic beer. A big no-no here in Germany, at least if you want to drink a beer and not just a refreshing beverage. Henceforth, I'm not even going to give you any brands or recommendations for this stuff. I couldn't continue living a happy life knowing that I recommended something like this to anybody. But back to ordering, you can now just say the brand that you prefer or if you want to use a complete sentence, just exchange the beer from the sentence I taught you in the beginning with your preferred brand. Oh and one more tip, if the waiter asks you if you want to order a big or small one, you want to opt for the big one. Trust me, ordering a small beer is one of the 10 German death sins and it will get you in serious trouble. Anyways. That was my beginner's beer guide to Germany. If you enjoyed this video, a like and sub would be highly appreciated. And in case there's anything more you want to know in German, feel free to simply comment on your wish. Take care in a bit.